Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here finally we have a big update in terms of VU emulation on Android devices finally the CEMU Android version 0.2 has officially launched after almost 4 months of waiting from the CEMU 0.1 this brand new version brings improvements to compatibility performance bug fixes better gameplay experience on even low end Android devices and overall general optimization and bug fixes we'll be setting it up trying out some VU games and i'll be telling you guys the best settings so before getting started if you guys are new here hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i upload similar videos on my channel let's get started to start off this new version of cmu android has been released by the main developer who is working on its android port on their official open source github if we scroll down to releases you guys will be able to see the latest cmu 0.2 was released 2 days ago this update is large in size compared to the older version of cmu android so it's definitely better if we just go and open the cmu android after updating it you guys can see it will launch without any problems and if you do face crash issues because many users have reported after updating to this version the emulator instantly crashes you will need to remove the old version of cmu android and then only directly update it if you face crashing issues but in my case it did not crash when i launched this emulator so i guess i am good to go the device which i am using in today's video is the realme gt7 pro with snapdragon 8 elite processor and one of the best compatibility factors about cmu is that it works really well even on mali gpu android devices or low end devices so the compatibility is great let's start with the setup basically you'll need to tap on these three lines afterwards make sure to open the cmu folder and make sure to add your nintendo wii u keys that you have dumped inside the cmu directory once that has been done you'll need to go to settings afterwards go to general settings and here make sure to add a game path by tapping on the plus button and afterwards selecting the folder where you have stored your nintendo wii u games once your games are imported you can scroll back and refresh the cmu page to see if your games are being shown inside the emulator if they are being shown then go to settings once again go to in put overlay settings and make sure that the on screen touch controls have been enabled once that has been done go to controller one and make sure to select the emulated controller as wii u gamepad now that's out of the way let's go back to graphics settings and here we have the custom drivers option where you can import the mesa turnip adreno driver and use it to get better performance and better graphics on snapdragon processor android device specifically snapdragon 4 gen 1 processor till snapdragon 8 gen 3 processor but if your games do not work then make sure to remove the custom graphics driver if you have already added any for experimental purposes full screen stretching make sure to keep it at stretch afterwards enable accurate barrier as well as a synchronous shader compilation for better graphics other than that everything you can keep it as default in terms of audio you can also disable the audio output if you want better performance let's go back and here in overlay settings you just have to enable the fps overlay at the top left corner and increase the overlay text size according to your preferences basically you will get information about how well is the game performing and how much of your device's resources are being used ui wise i only notice few changes other than that i think everything is internal so let's start off by testing out our first game which is going to be the minecraft wii u edition let's see if this works nope it crashes now this goes without saying but cmu android is still in its beta stages and this is just the 0.2 release of this emulator so not all games will be compatible let's try out our next game which is going to be need for speed most wanted and you guys can see this game booted successfully without any crashing issues now previously when i tested out this game it used to have lot of graphical issues and when i say lot of i mean like none of the textures were even being rendered properly i want to see if that has been fixed now in this brand new updates if the textures graphical issues have been fixed now growing up need for speed most wanted was one of my most fun to play racing games which i put lots of hours in and you guys will be able to see that the wii u version of the game has successfully started on my android device here we go looks like we have some shader compilation and our game has successfully started now i am able to notice lot of graphical issues once again but it has definitely decreased compared to previous time and here we go now that everything has rendered oh my god the graphical issues have actually decreased by quite a lot obviously uh, the trees are not being rendered properly as you'll be able to see in the distance but before even the car used to not be rendering whereas the car and the streets are getting rendered properly after this brand new update of cmu android you guys will be able to see we are getting straight up 30 fps without any issues but there is definitely large amount of input delay you guys will be able to notice it for yourself like the sensitivity input delay and the on screen touch controls have some issues like especially the joystick it's very small 
so it is slipping up quite a lot. Other than that, this game is actually completely playable inside the CMU Android which is definitely a big step towards Wii U emulation. But do note that it works well only on flagship Android devices and if you have a low-end device then don't even think about getting this much FPS, you'll get anywhere from 5 to 10 FPS. But yeah, this game does work and is completely playable. Let's move on towards our next game which is going to be the Marvel's Amazing Spider-Man 2. As you guys can see, I have this game added on my Android device. Let's open it and let's start playing it. One thing which I also want to show you guys is that now we have a sidebar where we can enable motion. We can also enable show pad option. Let me just go ahead and disable it. We'll just go ahead and press the plus button to begin our game. And as you guys can see, our game has successfully booted and we are getting about 32 FPS at the top left corner. And there are definitely a lot of shuttering issues. And here we go. Our game is about to begin. You guys will be able to see we are running the original Amazing Spider-Man 2 game on our Android device which is running at straight up 30 FPS and it is definitely giving us a very playable gameplay experience but I just wish that the on-screen touch controls were a bit better like other than that as you guys can see everything is working flawlessly without any issues. Well that's going to be it for today's video guys do let me know in the comment section down below which Wii U game will, be try will you be trying to emulate on your Android device and if I should upload more gameplay videos of the CMU Android. I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching goodbye.